Wiz and Girls Ultimate Hero here, last time on Persona 4. It was a rather slow and pathetic episode, in my opinion, because of, um... Well, didn't do much, aside from a couple rank-ups, but I guess we had to cut it off here, because we have a lot of uh, dialogue coming in soon, so... Anyway, I just talked to Nanako, and, um... She's, uh, she knows that we got the highest score, so... Here we go. We got the paper armband. But what this does, this is much more better than the other. Look at this. It increases all stats by five. That is, this is one of the best items. If you have, I this is what I'm saying for you to try hard and get number one for this test of all tests. This one's just great on its own. But you get basically every persona you'll have equipped will have plus 5 offense, plus 5 endurance, plus 5 magic, plus 5 agility, that stuff, which is really nice. So, um, let's go over what we got, at least for Persona, for not Persona, social links only. So, we got a rank up with Yosuke, got a rank up with Yukiko, I think two actually, no, just one, um, got a couple rank ups with Kanji, didn't with none with you. We established the social link with Rise, and we got a so like another rank up out of her. Um, we got a rank up with Chie, I believe. Um, no, none for you yet. We got a rank up with Fox. We got uh, like a rank up with uh, Strength. No rank ups with you though. That w I'm gonna try and make sure we max out your social link by the time we come back. T so um, we got no rank ups out of you. We spent time with her, but that was inevitable. Like, it was a, I was not surprised that we still didn't get to rank up with her. Um, I got a rank up out of you. Nothing with you. Um, no rank ups with you, and one rank up with you. That's about it. Oh, if you look at the full thing, now you see Rise and Teddy are now here. Teddy was always in the team, technically, but now I think he's actually in it, because, you know, he's got a persona. So, um, let's check the fridge. There's a container of barley tea. Drink it. Uh, sure. It was really udon soup. That was a horrible mistake. You decided to go to bed early today. No courage at all. You just... It's just the troll right there. Well, then again, it wasn't really trying to... Nothing really brave about drinking some tea, you know, is there? It's raining tonight. Something may appear on TV. Alright, let's check it out. Something appeared. It's an extremely vivid image. A boy standing with his back against the wall. What an asshole! Who was that? Hey, did you see that? Who was that guy? I don't know him. Have you ever seen him on the news or some television special? No. We would have known. We would have known he would have been targeted next, but no, it's just been normal. He seemed really gloomy. Like a zombie. Yosuke! Yosuke! Alright already, I hear you! Sorry, I'm gonna give the phone to Ted. Sensei, it's me, Teddy! I finally got to see the Midnight Channel with my own eyes. Now I know exactly what's happening. That guy's suppressed emotions are resonating with the other side, which are picked up by the TVs over here. It's clear now that it's not being filmed by anyone. Mystery solved! Well, that's one problem we, that's but been that solved. Kid, must already be inside the other world. What are we gonna do? We need a plan first. Something smells weird. Gotcha. I knew I could count on you, Sensei. I don't know what, but well. you can sense Teddy's strong trust in you. I think my heart skipped a beat. That's weird. And with that. 
we are now rank 3 with Teddy, so we got another rank up, so we should add that. I don't know, I'm smelling something weird right now. Mm, I don't know. Teddy's determination in battle has been enhanced. He can have a run follow up attack. I don't know. Hey, did you hear what he said? Try and catch me. <sighs> Sounds pretty bold. Now that I think about it, he looked like a high schooler. Hey, could he be? Nah, I'd better not jump to conclusions. Let's meet up at headquarters tomorrow. Alright? Later. Hmm. And another phone call. Who dares? It's Chie. Does everybody want to talk with me? Yeah, we just told him what we found from Teddy and Yosuke. Yeah, we gotta get to the bottom of this. Well, off to bed. Good night. Decided to go to bed early. If this is early, like I said, if this is early, is this... I wonder what his normal sleeping time is. On here I thought I was nocturnal. In fact, it is still the same day I'm recording, uh, the 12th, and the time right now is 4.02 a.m. Summer break starting today. Promise to meet up with your friends at the food court. You should hurry over to the food court. So, we got plot coming in now. This is why I said I'm glad I actually... Yeah, I'm definitely glad I stopped recording when I did earlier. Okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side. So we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now about what happened last night. You guys all saw it, right? Yep. Yeah. Shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. That's a weird statement. Fish-like eyes. <laughs> Who the hell is he? I say, he's the killer. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. You too, Yosuke-kun? It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Mora. Yeah, hey, remember when he said, come and catch me? Has to be him. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this, I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. Uh, so? All right. Let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. All right. This is funny right here. Because in the anime Persona Trinity Soul, that spinoff, the main character is named Shin. And, uh... I believe in Persona 3, they do this. It's like basically these names that they use for examples happen to have been used in other games and, and things in the Persona series. I think Junpei does the same thing, but I think it's a Persona 4 here. I think his name is Chu, which is a character we'll see soon enough. So for some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world, intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin. But after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't... You want to kill King Moron. But the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal. And there's no place for him to run. So, you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, so that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai, you're smarter than you look. 
Please, you can piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But, if he had a personal grudge against Mr. Moraoka, that explains one thing. With a strong enough motive, wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. You don't think he's going to get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed, like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Risei, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, we'll just have to ask him face to face. Hey, look, there's Rise. Hey, good timing. How'd it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. Great. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. Alright. So we need to find out who that guy is. We don't even know his name. And if he is in fact the one the police are after. That's all we know, but we need to know more about this guy Once then. we figure that out, we just do our thing. Yep, he thinks he can get away. However, he doesn't know how Risei, Kanji, and Yukiko have been saved. They don't know that there's someone actually saving them. They just didn't... It's not a matter if they got That's lucky and right. got out. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's heart was united by the desire to solve the case. With that... Rank 7 with full. So I'll get another rank up out of them. Well then, let's get digging. Yep. Seems you'll need more information on that boy to make any progress. What is that weird smell? Sorry, but this could be bothering me all day for this whole part. I apologize, but... Eh, oh well. So, we need to begin our search for this guy. And, uh, how do we do so? Hmm. Well, let's go around town for now, because this is one part where I'm kind of sh I kind of forgetful on. Um, wait, what about you? I'm interested. Hard boots. I think I have those. You need ten of those hide things, but... Wait, I thought I already have hard boots. Wait, don't I have hard boots? I know I have them, but... Changing careers. That's next, but that won't be coming out till like, early August, so... Let me check. Wait, I could have sworn I have the hard boots. Shield boots. Great. Uh, never mind. That's one... This is one quest I'm going to be stuck on. Um... Let's head on out. Uh, this is something I might have trouble with. I'm not gonna lie, I might have some trouble here. Okay, we need to find Kanji, I believe. Uh, let's see what we can do. Set to the floodplain. I think I know where Kanji is. I think he's here. But, actually, speaking of which, we need to see that old man, so let's see that old man while we're here. And you. Do you want anything? 
Okay, not yet. He will want something later, I know that. Yeah, there's Kanji. But first, let's talk to this guy. I'm gonna get a, some bait from you real quick. Fit a whole bunch for you? Yeah, whatever. Hmm, info on the suspect. It's pretty tough. Seems like no one knows anything, right? So instead of bitching about it, let me go straight to the source. Just ask Tojima-san. He's your uncle, right? He'd tell you something. Maybe. Great. Now we just gotta ask Dojima right away. Did we? Yeah, I think I gave you that key. So, uh... Actually, let me feed this cat. Let's give it some food. No. 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 I'll give it any of a trout. Yeah, I should try feeding it again next time. Um, let's... I'm gonna go to the Jima residence. Let's just get some bait. I'm sorry for being quiet, but I'm re I'm feeling really irritated right now. I don't know why. It's because of that weird sm weird ass smell, which... I have no idea. Actually, it's going away. Either it's going away, or I'm kind of getting used to the scent. Ugh, whatever. Uh, take the bait and go. Ooh, take the money and run. I don't know, I like Steve Miller band pretty good. Um, should I head to... I go... Oh, that's right, we gotta head here. And I think we're almost done with the, like, little progress we can make for today. Hey, Regima. Included in criminal investigation? You... I told you to stick your neck into things. There's no way I'd tell you. Jeez, damn, where, where did that Adachi go off to? Fucking Dojima. Damn it. Well, what can we do? Um, let's. Should... Yeah, I think he's. We gotta check here. Here, and then we're gonna run out of information. We're about to be at the end. Hmm. Adachi's not here. I think he's supposed to show up tomorrow. So I think I don't, but it would be nice to at least get that clarification that yeah, I, you've done all you could, so you might want to stop, or you could do whatever you want for the rest of the day. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not sure to be honest. I'm Chie. What do you want to say? I'm ashamed of myself. I couldn't resist the temptation of a steak bowl. Of course, I'm perfectly capable of gathering intel while I'm eating. I already asked, uh... already asked them, so not much to say. And who's this I see? Yukiko! Okay, there you go. We've done- I got that information, I think that should count. The shrine. Let's call the fox. I've done the quest, let's just take that rank up and go. Hopefully this recording session won't take too long, because I want to go through a base size dungeon again soon, so I can just get the experience. Fox brought you the Emma. Yeah, if he's exuberant, we already know that. And there you go. I can has rank up. And with that we are rank seven with the fox. We're getting we're getting done with a lot of these social links, guys, but we're not even we're around halfway done with the whole game, so I think I'm doing very well. At least I feel like I am in I, like I said, I'm not using any of those strict rubrics to actually say how you should rank up if you want 100% the game. I'm just doing whatever I feel like. I've been doing that, and that's and I've only 100% of the game twice out of it. And it was really harder yeah. the second time. When the turn in terms of the social link maxing, there was one point where literally I actually got 100% because of the fact 
I slept early and um, I dreamed about one character. Otherwise, that would have been impossible to do it. Because I, I literally had this whole little plan to see what I could do. And I had like 10 days and I needed 8 rank ups. I was going to the timing. And I know uh, one character was one of them. But no, I want to rank up with Nanako, but I must go to the hospital. Let's go. Are we gonna get a rank up out of her? I think we are. Oh shit, that that always scares me. I think that was in Japanese for like Oh god. Oh, you're here. It looks like she's in a bad mood. Did you hear that commotion? That was the first time ever anyone ever called me a slutty bitch to my face. It's like a soap opera. Seriously. Uh. Hmm. The previous hospital I worked at uh, had a relationship with one of the doctors, but he had a wife. She found out and I was forced to quit. I started working here. Not too long after, it seems he began flirting again, this time with a different nurse at the hospital. I don't know what happened, but I got dragged back into it. His wife came all the way here to bitch at me. The other nurses were just watching, with the stupid smirks on their faces. I wish I'd seen it. How can you talk like this? Like, this isn't any of your problem. Hmm. Oh, wait, I guess it isn't, really. <laughs> what was I thinking? I think that one doesn't matter. It won't matter what you say. <sighs> Everything's just a pain. It wasn't like this at first. When I first thought about becoming a nurse. What am I working for? What am I living for? I'm sorry. I was just grumbling to myself. Thank you. Get all the points you can right here, because I think after this rank up, you won't be getting any of the chances to rank up at all. There'll just be any options, like, and they won't matter. It's basically just simple rank ups is going to take a while to max out. From here on out, I think, we're going to rank 5 with the devil. That, that part, I'm sure that bitch is gone by now. Goodbye now. Bitches and whores. Please don't look that up unless you want massive spoilers to the game. I beg of you. I don't sound like it, but I mean it. Don't. Don't bother. Trust me. Don't. And it's now Thursday. Get used to seeing all this red. But I want it to be blue, because I'm blue. Ah, booty, ah, booty. 